Today, I'm looking forward to hearing more from all of you about the issues and priorities that matter most to Africa and how we can deepen our cooperation. Many countries want to work with Africa, and it's like a race. While Biden expressed his willingness to collaborate with Africa, Italy promptly offered a $6 billion investment. The question arises, are Western nations enthusiastic about partnering with Africa due to its increasing significance, or are they motivated to exploit the continent? Let's find out. In 2023, Africa stepped into the global limelight, catching the eyes of nations worldwide as alliances and partnerships with African countries took center stage. The charm of the continent has not weakened. On the contrary, more countries are now keenly exploring opportunities to invest in its immense potential. The United States is all in on Africa's future. Recently, Italy's prime minister, Giorgia Maloney, rolled out an ambitious plan to tackle energy issues and address the complex matter of illegal migration in Africa. But why has Africa become the center of attention for the world? Africa's growing prominence on the global stage is undeniable. With its rich cultures, abundant resources, and untapped markets, the continent has become a focal point for nations seeking strategic alliances. The interest isn't just about diplomatic ties. It's a recognition of the economic, social, and cultural dynamism that Africa brings to the table. Prime Minister Georgia Maloney's initiative is an example of this recognition. Understanding Africa's key role in shaping the future, Italy has crafted a comprehensive plan to address pressing issues. One of the key focal points of the plan is the energy sector, a critical component for sustainable development. Energy challenges have been a long-standing hurdle for many African nations. Unreliable power sources hinder progress and economic growth. Prime Minister Maloney's plan involves significant investments in global renewable energy projects. The aim is to boost local economies and create a more sustainable and environmentally friendly energy infrastructure. Italy is willing to protect Africa from exploitation and wants to work with it in all sectors. Vomitevole è chi, come la Francia, continua a sfruttare l'Africa stampando moneta per 14 nazioni africane sulle quali applica il signoraggio facendo lavorare bambini nelle miniere, estraendo materie prime come accade in Niger, dove la Francia estrae il 30% dell'uranio che gli serve a far camminare le centrali nucleari e il 90% dei nigerini vive senza elettricità. Non ci venire a fare lezioni, Macron, perché l'Africa scappa da voi! E la soluzione non è spostare gli africani in Europa, è liberare l'Africa da certi europei! But things are not as simple as they look. There is a catch, so wait for it. Moreover, the plan addresses the complex issue of illegal migration. Africa has often grappled with migration challenges, with people seeking better opportunities in other parts of the world. Italy's approach is to invest in initiatives that create job opportunities within the continent, providing a viable alternative to migration. The plan aims to curb the root causes of illegal migration by fostering economic growth and stability. Italy's engagement with Africa reflects a broader trend of nations, recognizing the mutual benefits of collaboration. It's not just about providing aid, it's about fostering sustainable development that benefits both parties involved. This approach reflects a shift in the global mindset moving away from charity-driven initiatives to partnerships built on mutual respect and shared goals. The global community's interest in Africa's potential is a positive sign. It signifies a departure from outdated stereotypes and a recognition of the continent's agency in shaping its narrative. Africa is not merely a recipient of aid, but an active participant in the global discourse, contributing to the world's progress in diverse fields. As more nations express interest in collaborating with Africa, it is crucial to approach such partnerships with a genuine understanding of the continent's complexity. Africa is not a homogeneous entity. It's a mosaic of nations with unique challenges and opportunities. Respecting this diversity is key to establishing meaningful and sustainable partnerships. But what's the catch? And what is Italy's bold plan for investment in Africa? Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity.
Let's continue now. As Italy takes the reins of the G7 presidency in 2024, Prime Minister Maloney is boldly placing Africa at the forefront of the international agenda. With a commitment to collaborative partnerships rather than exploitative ventures, Italy's visionary plan, named after the trailblazing Dr. Enrico Mattei, founder of Italy's state-owned energy powerhouse ENI, unfolds a strategic roadmap. The aspiration to position Italy as a prominent energy hub is at the heart of this groundbreaking initiative. Recognizing the pivotal role of energy in sustainable development, Prime Minister Maloney aims to channel significant investments into Africa's energy sector. By leveraging the expertise of ENI, the plan seeks to not only bolster the continent's energy infrastructure, but also foster economic growth and job creation. The plan draws inspiration from the legacy of Dr. Enrico Mattei, a visionary who laid the foundations for Italy's state-controlled energy sector. Rather than approaching migration as a mere border control challenge, Prime Minister Maloney adopts a holistic perspective. By investing in Africa's economic development, the plan aims to create opportunities that discourage the root causes of migration, offering an alternative narrative for the continent's youth. The emphasis on cooperation echoes a departure from traditional exploitative models of engagement. Prime Minister Maloney advocates for partnerships that empower African nations, acknowledging their agency and shaping their destinies. It's an approach that moves beyond aid-driven initiatives, focusing on mutually beneficial collaborations that transcend short-term fixes. As the plan unfolds during Italy's G7 presidency, the hope is to catalyze a new era of collaboration between Italy and African nations. By prioritizing Africa's development, Prime Minister Maloney is shaping Italy's legacy and contributing to a more equitable and prosperous future for the entire continent. How does the strategic alliance between Italy and African nations aim to tackle migration and energy challenges? In the face of pressing challenges, the strategic alliance between Italy and African nations emerges as a proactive response, aiming to tackle the complex issues of migration and energy. This forward-thinking initiative seeks to address the root causes of irregular migration and positions Italy as a pivotal hub for energy supplies from Africa to Europe. The difficulties of this alliance align seamlessly with broader European efforts to diminish dependence on Russian oil and gas in the aftermath of the 2022 invasion of Ukraine by Moscow. One of the primary objectives of this alliance is to delve into the complexities surrounding irregular migration. Rather than focusing solely on border control measures, the Alliance adopts a comprehensive approach that targets the root causes of migration. By investing in economic development, job creation, and opportunities within Africa, the plan aims to provide a compelling alternative to irregular migration. The collaborative effort acknowledges the need for long-term solutions, understanding that fostering stability and prosperity in African nations is integral to curbing the desire for migration. It's a departure from reactive policies, emphasizing proactive initiatives that empower individuals and communities, ultimately reshaping the narrative around migration. Simultaneously, the Strategic Alliance envisions Italy as a central player in the energy landscape, bridging Africa's energy potential to Europe. The Alliance aims to enhance the continent's energy infrastructure, with a focus on substantial investments in Africa's energy sector, particularly in renewable and sustainable initiatives. Italy's strategic positioning as an energy hub aligns with broader European goals to diversify energy sources, reducing reliance on Russian oil and gas. The geopolitical significance of this move is magnified in the wake of Russia's actions in Ukraine in 2022, prompting European nations to reassess their energy dependencies and seek alternative, stable sources. But will exploitation come with collaboration? We will address this too. The strategic alliance between Italy and African nations resonates within the broader European context. The collective effort to decrease reliance on Russian oil and gas echoes the urgency to safeguard energy security. By tapping into Africa's diverse energy resources, Italy is a reliable partner, contributing to a more resilient and diversified European energy landscape. What sectors will the investments primarily target and how much funding is allocated for the plan? As Italy charts a visionary course with its comprehensive plan for Africa, it's crucial to understand where the investments will be directed and the financial commitment attached to this transformative initiative. 
The initial funding for the plan stands at a substantial US $5.9 billion, a commitment reflecting Italy's determination to catalyze a positive change in collaboration with African nations. Much of the funding is allocated to the energy sector, reflecting Italy's ambition to position itself as Europe's natural energy hub. Investments in renewable and sustainable energy projects across Africa will enhance the continent's energy infrastructure and contribute to a more diversified and secure European energy landscape. The plan recognizes the urgency of reducing dependency on traditional sources, especially in the aftermath of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which underscored vulnerabilities in Europe's energy supply chain. Agriculture emerges as a pivotal sector in the plan, with targeted investments to foster sustainable farming practices and enhance food security. By supporting agricultural initiatives, Italy aims to contribute to initiatives. Italy aims to contribute to economic growth, job creation, and the overall well-being of African communities. The focus on agriculture aligns with the broader goal of creating resilient and self-sufficient nations capable of steering their development. Acknowledging the essential role of water in sustainable development, a portion of the funding is directed towards water-related projects, investments in water infrastructure, conservation, and management are integral components of the plan. By addressing water challenges, the initiative seeks to ensure access to clean and safe water, thereby improving the quality of life for communities across the continent. Healthcare takes center stage in the plan, with targeted investments to bolster healthcare infrastructure, improve access to medical services, and enhance overall public health. The ongoing global challenges, including the COVID-19 pandemic, highlight the critical importance of a robust healthcare system. Italy's investment in this sector reflects a commitment to building resilient health systems in collaboration with African nations. Recognizing the transformative power of education, the plan allocates funds to uplift educational infrastructure and initiatives. Italy aims to empower the youth by investing in education, fostering a generation equipped with the skills and knowledge needed to contribute to their nation's development. This strategic focus on education aligns with a vision of creating sustainable and inclusive societies. The strategic allocation of funds across these key sectors underscores Italy's commitment to addressing African nations' multifaceted challenges. Beyond short-term fixes, the plan emphasizes long-term, sustainable development, recognizing the interconnectedness of these sectors in shaping vibrant and resilient societies. As Italy takes bold steps to realize this vision, the hope is that these targeted investments will serve as catalysts for positive change, propelling Africa towards a future characterized by energy security, agricultural sustainability, water resilience, improved health care, and enhanced educational opportunities. It's not merely about providing financial assistance, but co-creating a future where both Italy and African nations thrive in collaboration and shared prosperity. How does Italy plan to bridge the gap between Africa and Europe, and what are the plan's key elements? Italy is positioning itself as a vital bridge to foster stronger ties between Africa and Europe, orchestrating a flow of energy from the South while facilitating reciprocal investments. The plan is at the heart of this ambitious initiative, a comprehensive framework designed to prioritize Africa in Italy's foreign policy decisions during its G7 presidency President of the Foreign Affairs Committee in the Italian Chamber of Deputies articulated Italy's vision of becoming a conduit between Africa and Europe. The plan involves channeling energy resources from Africa to the north, positioning Italy as a crucial link in the energy supply chain. This strategic bridge benefits Italy and enhances energy security and cooperation between the two continents. A crucial aspect of the plan is its emphasis on clear foreign policy decisions prioritizing Africa. During its G7 presidency, Italy deliberately chose to center its diplomatic efforts on fostering collaboration with African nations. This intentional approach reflects a commitment to long-term partnerships and signifies a departure from ad hoc policies, paving the way for sustained cooperation. What measures are being taken to combat illegal migration, and how will the plan create opportunities in Africa? Italy's plan not only envisions bridging the gap between Africa and Europe, but also adopts a multifaceted approach to combat illegal migration. The strategic measures encompass tackling human trafficking, enhancing border control capabilities, 
and creating tangible opportunities within Africa. Italy's plan not only envisions bridging the gap between Africa and Europe, but also adopts a multifaceted approach to combat illegal migration. The strategic measures encompass tackling human trafficking, enhancing border control capabilities, and creating tangible opportunities within Africa. At the forefront of the plan's efforts is a commitment to combating human trafficking, a major driver of illegal migration. By strategically investing in initiatives to fight this criminal activity, Italy aims to disrupt the networks that exploit vulnerable individuals seeking a better life. This approach recognizes the importance of dismantling the infrastructure that preys on migrants' aspirations. Recognizing the role of North African nations in the migration journey, the plan includes initiatives to train Coast Guards. This strategic move aims to enhance the capabilities of coastal security forces, making it more challenging for migrants to embark on perilous journeys across the Mediterranean. Strengthening border control measures is an integral component of the plan, emphasizing prevention over reactionary measures. Prime Minister Maloney advocates for establishing readmission agreements with countries of origin, streamlining the process of repatriation of illegal migrants. These agreements create a legal framework for the return of individuals who have entered Italy unlawfully. By facilitating efficient and lawful repatriation, Italy aims to dissuade potential migrants and discourage illegal pathways. What are the pilot projects and initiatives under the plan? The plan, Italy's visionary initiative, is not just a set of grand ideas. It's a blueprint for tangible change. The pilot projects and initiatives under this transformative plan showcase Italy's commitment to creating real opportunities and addressing specific challenges in Africa. Let's delve into the key industries that form the initial steps of the plan. One of the flagship initiatives under the plan is establishing a vocational training center in Morocco. This center focuses specifically on renewable energy, aligning with the broader goal of positioning Africa as a hub for sustainable energy. By providing vocational training, the initiative aims to empower individuals with the skills needed to contribute to the growing renewable energy sector fostering economic growth and job creation in Morocco. Recognizing the importance of education in shaping the future, the plan extends its reach to Tunisia. As a pilot project, educational initiatives are being implemented to enhance access to quality education. By investing in schools, scholarships, and educational infrastructure, Italy aims to create a conducive environment for learning, opening doors of opportunity for the youth in Tunisia. This proactive approach acknowledges education's role in breaking the migration cycle driven by a lack of opportunities. Addressing healthcare disparities is a crucial facet of the plan. Ivory Coast, ranked as one of the common countries of origin for migrants arriving in Italy, has become a focus for healthcare initiatives. The plan aims to enhance healthcare accessibility by investing in infrastructure, medical facilities, and training programs. By bolstering the healthcare sector, Italy seeks to improve the overall well-being of communities in the Ivory Coast, addressing a key factor in migration decisions. Now, let's come to the things that are not obvious or that Italy might be trying to hide. What potential challenges and concerns should Africa remain vigilant about? While Prime Minister Maloney's ambitious plan holds promise for collaboration and shared prosperity, Africa should approach it with vigilance Considering historical precedents, where external interests have sometimes masked predatory intentions, as African nations engage with the plan, several potential challenges and concerns merit careful consideration. African nations have a history of being exploited by external powers, often under the guise of beneficial investments. As Africa becomes the focal point of global attention, vigilance is crucial to ensure that the plan genuinely serves the interests of African communities and nations, rather than perpetuating historical patterns of exploitation. The devil is in the details of negotiations. The African government's approach deals with transparency and a keen understanding of their long-term implications. Ensuring fair terms in energy, agriculture, healthcare, and education agreements is paramount. Negotiating from a position of strength and informed decision-making is key to preventing exploitation. The devil is in the details of negotiations. The African government's approach deals with transparency 
and a keen understanding of their long-term implications. Ensuring fair terms in energy, agriculture, healthcare, and education agreements is paramount. Negotiating from a position of strength and informed decision-making is key to preventing exploitation. While the plan outlines broad strategies, Africa considers the direct impact on local communities. African governments have assessed how the plan translates into tangible benefits for citizens. Ensuring that investments contribute to local development, job creation, and improved living standards is essential to prevent the marginalization of communities in the pursuit of larger geopolitical objectives. In the push for renewable energy investments, Africa remains vigilant about potential environmental impacts. Large-scale projects may have unintended consequences on local ecosystems and biodiversity. Striking a balance between energy development and environmental sustainability should be a priority to avoid exploiting natural resources at the expense of the environment. African nations are mindful of maintaining their sovereignty in the face of foreign influence. While collaboration is essential, it should be on terms that respect the autonomy of African governments and align with their national interests. Guarding against any attempts to compromise sovereignty is crucial for the long-term success of any collaborative initiative. Ensuring that decision-making processes are inclusive and transparent is vital. The plan's success hinges on African nation, active involvement in shaping their development trajectory. A commitment to inclusive decision-making will help avoid the concentration of power and resources in the hands of a few, ensuring that the benefits of collaboration are widespread. As Africa engages with the plan, maintaining a vigilant stance becomes a shield against potential pitfalls. It is not confirmed if Italy wants to exploit Africa or is willing to collaborate. But what if this is all for exploitation? Africa is strong enough to protect itself from that. It also has allies that would let this happen. So, for Italy or any Western nation to exploit Africa would not be possible now. Do you think Italy is doing it because it thinks Africa matters in today's world? Or is it just willing to exploit Africa? Will Africa let this happen? Let us know in the comment section if you see Africa being used by any European nation. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. The black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.